Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is an example of a cortical desmoid, which is just a benign developmental finding we see pretty commonly. It's at the posterior medial femoral metaphysis. So here's the femur, this is the, this is the metaphysis, this is the posterior margin. We see the medial gastrocnemius muscle coming up. It attaches here, this broad attachment, and right at the attachment, you see this linear black lines and periosteum, and then beneath that, the cortex is thick, and a little bit of scalloping underneath it, and this is again a cortical desmoid, which is just a benign developmental anomaly. Usually people between 10 and 15 have it. It's usually asymptomatic and it resolves spontaneously after they um, develop maturity. And it's very important not to say this is a bone tumor or even head. This is just a classic location. You see it over and over again, again, at the medial gastrocnemius attachment. Um, in the books, they say it could also be the adductor magnus attachment. But I always see it right here in this, uh, right beneath the medial gastrocnemius. Usually there's not much marrow edema adjacent to it. Um, usually it's nice and clean just like this. You see that bright band, that's the cortical desmoid. If we go over to the opposite side, this is what it should look like here, normal. This is the lateral side, very thin. Again, on the medial side, it's a little bit too thick and a little bit too bright. Now a non-ossifying fibroma or fibrous cortical defect is another thing that can look similar to this, but usually it's a deeper, more scalloped, and it's not right at this classical location. It's up a little bit higher, and they can be in the femur or tibia, but they look kind of similar. They're eccentric, and they're scalloped, benign lesions that are no uh, don't-touch-me lesions. But this one is, again, a cortical desmoid and um, no don't-touch-me lesion, and again, they'll just have this spontaneously resolve, and I just mentioned it is uh, probably incidental. Now, as an aside, whenever I see something like this and they have pain, I try to find anything else, and uh, their exam looked pretty good. Over here, there was some, maybe some minimal brightness in the quadriceps fat pad, but this is a very soft call. Didn't really uh, show up very well in the T1s. Also down here, there's a little bit of fluid in the deep infrapatellar bursa. But again, this is just an example of an incidental uh, cortical desmoid, don't touch me lesion. Thank you so much.